We are following breaking news this afternoon. President Joe Biden says he plans to keep Space Command in Colorado Springs. Thanks for joining us. I'm Heather Skoll. And I'm Sean Rice. Bart Betzel has the day off. Federal lawmakers, the governor, and even our mayors have been fighting for this announcement for more than two years. In 2020, then-President Donald Trump announced the move to Huntsville, Alabama, before touting the move on a radio talk show. And even before that, during years of group studies and committee discussions, our leaders have always pushed for Space Command to remain right here in Colorado. Now it seems though those efforts have finally paid off. And Space Command headquarters are at Peterson Space Force Base on the east side of Colorado Springs. That's where we find KRDO News Channel 13's Tyler Connington. Tyler, what are city leaders saying this afternoon? Sean and Heather, this, the decision is one that's being celebrated across the state and, of course, right here in Colorado Springs, as the U.S. Space Command will stay put instead of moving to Redstone Arsenal in Alabama, keeping a major economic player here in the city for the foreseeable future. But it didn't happen without a lot of fight and question from our federal lawmakers. There have been numerous investigations, including one by the Government Accountability Office on the criteria used to select a permanent headquarters. Now, Governor Jared Polis, Colorado Senators Michael Bennett and John Hickenlooper, as well as Colorado Springs Mayor Yemi Mobilade, all saying today that the decision keeps Space Force in its rightful home. They all say that it puts national security in front of the politics between past and current administrations, and they collectively express that they're glad to have the branch staying in Colorado Springs for years to come. Now, Republican Congressman Doug Lamborn tells us that decision is a long time coming. We will continue to be the epicenter, the ground zero of military and national defense space in this country. And that's going to lead to a lot of synergy, a lot of jobs, a lot of missions from the military. It's going to really have a lot of spinoffs way into the future. But of course, national defense is going to be first and foremost. Now coming up at five, we'll have more reactions from both state and local leaders and more information on how this decision came to be. For now, reporting live outside Peterson Air Force Air Space Base, Tyler Cunnington, KRDO News Channel 13.